Welcome to this example of using Autodesk Design Validation on a brake assembly. Here, the engineering team has been challenged with investigating the reliability and performance of the brake rotor. In the past, the rotors that haven't performed well led to excessive and expensive warranty claims due to warpage, cracks, and uneven wear on brake pads. The challenge extends beyond a simple linear static analysis of the braking forces. What happens when the friction heats the material? How are the rising temperatures going to affect stress results? Autodesk meets this challenge and takes us beyond the capabilities of a physical test. Find out what the heat transfer looks like without the applied forces. This is a great way to test the component's ability to cool with convection. For the first analysis, we will apply the boundary conditions that simulate convection as well as the amount of heat generated from friction between the brake pads and the rotor. These real-world conditions are associated with the model geometry, meaning if there are any changes to the design, they will remain intact. Let's take a look at the results for temperature. We can see some of the heat is transferred to the veins inside the rotor. This plot provides the non-uniform temperature distribution that can be used as a load in the thermal expansion study. Next, we will set up the thermal stress study using these temperatures for the thermal expansion analysis and later apply the torque load as the vehicle comes to a stop. Pin constraints enable us to simulate the connection between the rotor and the hub in the brake assembly. We could use bolt connections in this case if we included other components in the analysis. Be sure to watch the video on bolt connectors to learn how to take advantage of them. Observe several options for viewing the results of the thermal expansion study. Displacement and stress plots will help us to determine if there is uneven wear on the brake pads or locations where cracks may begin to form. After dragging the ledge in, we can see most of the stress occurs around the bolt locations as expected. By copying the study once more, we can keep the existing study results and include the torque load resulting from the contact with the brake pads. Using temperature-dependent material properties, we can determine accurate stress results with the combination of thermal expansion and mechanical loading conditions. It may also make sense to solve the study with the torque load by itself to investigate and compare the results between scenarios. Once again, we are going to focus on just the areas of concern in the stress plot. Where in the model do we have the highest stress, and what can we do to improve on the design? By probing areas in the model, we can accurately determine whether or not changes are necessary. Notice the stresses at every other location of the bolts are higher due to the placement of the veins. Perhaps by increasing the number of veins, we can evenly distribute the stress. Changes to the model take place right in the familiar design environment. Once the geometry is updated, it's just a matter of rerunning the study. There is no exporting, importing, or translation of data that takes place. New faces have been added after the number of veins was increased. Constraints and loads are saved in the browser and easy to edit. Here we are including new geometry to ensure the convection load provides accurate results for temperature distribution. And that's it. In just a matter of seconds, updated results will be available for the new design. Looking again at thermal stresses with torque, the probes we used earlier indicate that extra veins evenly distribute the stress at each of the extruded bosses for the fasteners. This workflow encourages designers to make several improvements in a short amount of time. See plots for all the study types in a matter of minutes, as opposed to the time-consuming task of building and testing several generations of physical prototypes. Finally, the engineer will wrap this up and communicate the reason for the change to the rest of the team. The ability to test and manage your projects is available now. Autodesk is your trusted solution for making better products. It is the future of making things.